According to Gallup, the average American read 12.6 books in 2021. And while they may not be representative of the entire world, I'm willing to bet that most of us aren't too far off from that figure. And maybe that's okay. As a young, speed-reading bookworm, I used to read the summaries at the back of books to try and figure out what I should read next. Fast forward a few decades later, and I'm still reading summaries, but now in an attempt to figure out what I shouldn't read, because now my goal is to read less. In this video, I'm going to share the very start of my reading process using a service called Shortform, and how I use it to help me learn more while reading less. I've been using Shortform for over a year. I've written some code for it, and I've also written a blog post about it. So while I do have an affiliate code for Shortform, it's because I use it and I actually really love it. They don't even know what I'm going to say in this video. Check out my ethics statement to find out how I decide what products to talk about, because I'm pretty picky. What is short form? I mentioned book summaries in the beginning, but short form does so much more than just book summaries. They're like Netflix, but for books, if you can imagine that. The summaries that short form gives you are not just your typical high school level summaries of a book report that we used to do when we were younger. Short form has really thoughtful and nuanced commentary in addition to those summaries. Maybe it's better if I show you with an example. I'm using the short form app on my mobile right now, and I'm going to look at this book, Why We Sleep, which I finished. Now, I read this book before I read the short form summary of it, and I was surprised because when I was reading it, short form has this summary of every part, but it also has like these short form notes. So for example, it says here, short form note, in the first edition, Walker had written that every living creature on the planet with a lifespan of more than several days has a circadian rhythm. But then they also go on to say that this is actually false. And they cite the actual blog from the researcher that proved this to be false. When I was reading this book, I didn't really think about questioning those claims, but short form goes through and really pretty thoroughly goes over every claim that Walker, the author, has made. They also add commentary, like in this one where the author talks about what happens when you disrupt your rhythm, short form has a note that suggests keeping a sleep diary. And if I click on that, then it actually goes to a page by Sleep Foundation where they talk about doing just that. So short form is more than summaries because it's more like somebody else who is reading it with you, kind of like someone from a book club who's going over the same stuff you are, but maybe with a more discerning eye. Another service in this vein that I've used is Blinkist, but that really massively turned me off. So let's look at the same book in short form and Blinkist to figure out why I like short form so much better. This is what Blinkist looks like. So I actually still have an active subscription because my subscription ticked over before I could cancel it. It's canceled now, but I've still got this for the next year. So I thought this was a good time to show you what it looks like. Blinkist is based on the idea that every book can be distilled into these blinks. So very short summaries of every idea. So let's look at one of them. So it's just a, a single page. And it is a straight summary. There's no commentary. There's no research or anything like that. It seems like the whole focus of this is to be able to distill exactly what the author has said and let other people do the work of trying to figure out for themselves whether something is true or not. There's really not much more than just these blinks. In contrast, if we look at the one on short form, this is the same book and it also has like a one page summary like Blinkist did, but then it also has a full book guide, which goes through every single chapter or part and adds more detail into it. So I usually start with a summary when I'm not sure if I want to read something. And then I go back and read the book itself. And then sometimes, depending on the book and how interested I am in it, I actually go back and read the chapter by chapter summaries to figure out what I missed. Because like in that book about why we sleep that I showed you, sometimes I just take for granted that an author is saying something true. And short form helps point out to me when that's not the case. I also really like that short form has these exercises based on the things that the author has said in the book. 
these exercises are peppered throughout and between these chapters. And it really forces you to put things into practice right away as soon as you learn them, which is another element of learning. Here's an example of a short form note where short form suggests the summary of how to stop worrying and start living. So they're not just talking about the ideas, but they're also trying to connect those ideas to other ideas from other authors and other works, which is very a very Tettelkasten way to approach this. Shortform and Blinkist both have an audio component to it, so let's try that out. Before you can control your distractions, you first need to understand what distractions are. This is at 1.6 like speed, so let me make it normal. Things around you, such as your phone, different apps, or your chatty coworkers. So it's a good way to more passively absorb a book if you don't want to read it. So I've already shown you short form's nuanced commentary, the one page summary, and the detailed chapter by chapter summary, sometimes with exercises. The other thing that really sells it for me is the integration, because I don't want that learning to stop in the short form app. You know me and I want everything in Obsidian. And short form has an integration that Blinkist does not. I actually tried to solve this problem myself a year ago because no integration existed. I wrote a Python script that would take the short form highlights because it has an API and then call the Readwise API and kind of string them together. Now that still works as far as I know, but that's not what I recommend anymore because I actually talked to the Readwise founders and I also suggested to them that short form was a great company to partner with. And so I may have had a small part in them coming up with a new official Readwise short form integration. So what you have to do is sign up to both short form and Readwise. I do have affiliate links to both. I mean, what are you going to expect? That's why I was creating stuff for them because I use them for myself. And after you've signed up for both of them, you can now link your Readwise account to Shortform. So how it works is I highlight things on Shortform. Those highlights are then sent to Readwise. And through the Readwise official plugin, those highlights get synced into my Obsidian Vault. So here are my notes from that initial run through. This is what that looks like. This is from Shortworm via Readwise. And these were my highlights from the one page summary. Then at this point, I really liked what I was reading. And so I decided to buy the book. Now, these days when I buy books, I buy them on Kindle just because they link to Readwise and Readwise links to Obsidian. So again, I'm choosing to optimize for integration here so that everything just goes into Obsidian. So then I bought the indistractable book on my Kindle. While I was on my Kindle, I was making highlights. Those highlights got synced separately. And this is what those looked like. It kind of looks the same as the short form one, but that's because it's the same sort of format. But this one was actually from the Kindle. And you'll see the highlights are a bit different and they have these locations, which is specific to the Kindle. So I then went on and read the whole book. And then afterwards, when I started to put things together, I made my own note called Indistractable and started to go over both the short form notes and the Kindle notes. So here's what I said about the book. This is pretty much how a lot of my book buying goes. Start with a short form. If I like it, then I buy the book on Kindle and then I make highlights both on short form and on Kindle. Sometimes if I really, really like the book, then I'll flip back to the short form detailed chapter summaries because they provide more context. Sometimes if I can't get over the writing style of the book, I do just skip the actual book and read the short form summary instead. I pretty much let my interest in the book decide what I want to read. And I do everything that I can to be as efficient as possible with getting the information from the book. Short form definitely saves me money. It costs less than a book a month and it stops me from reading more than one book a month. So from that perspective, it's already worth it. But more than that, the thoughtfulness of the summaries and the research that goes into those commentaries save me more than just money. They save me time. And that's really what I keep coming back for. If you'd also like to try out short form, then click on this link to get a free trial and then a 20% off of your subscription. But even if you don't, thank you for watching. Tot de volgende keer.